Okay, Stephen King sucks. I've been uh, negligent to make this because it's just so depressing. He's so ugly, isn't he? Jesus Christ. I hate this guy. I really hate this guy. <laughs> I hate him because he's he's good, even though he sucks. I mean, being mediocre, in a way, it's worse than being awful. And that's what this guy is. He's just mediocre. He never makes anything perfect. He just says, yeah, whatever, I'll just... Who gives a fuck? And then he moves on to his next one. Stanley Kubrick only made eight movies, and he's like a legend. Stephen King has written like 500, 5 million uh, fucking books, and they all suck. Or they're average. They're mediocre at best. He accidentally makes a gem, Shawshank Redemption. And I'm not even sure how much of that was him. And it's like, well, but like after you've written 5 million books, one of them should be good. So is that really that much of an accomplishment? I mean, the Rolling Stones, I hate their guts. And they, they've made like 5,000 songs and like, if they've only got like two good songs, that's really not a very good good thing, is it? Uh, one thing that I picked up about him is that he's an egomaniac. Like he can't erase anything that he writes because he thinks it's all perfect. Which <laughs> it shows, doesn't it? So he just like writes and writes and writes and he doesn't give a fuck about anybody. And you know, that's, that's uh, kind of admirable, but it doesn't make for a... Well, every single story he writes is exactly the same, right? This is somebody who's addicted to writing. I mean, if I was writing 24 hours a day, I would probably write as many... That's the interesting thing about this guy is that he just can't stop writing. And maybe that's a lesson to all of us uh, aspiring writers is like, stop criticizing yourself, just write it, even if it's shit. Because Stephen King certainly does. He writes some of the biggest shit ever but there's gold within the shit so just keep writing and who gives a shit just finish it it's a little bit interesting how he had such a problem with stanley kubrick making the shining because stanley kubrick is like the complete opposite of stephen king stanley kubrick is like a perfectionist so he actually made the shining and made it wonderful but stephen king was like no no but there's no heart in it and that's not what i meant and Maybe he was jealous. I really, I don't, doesn't really. I don't necessarily think he was jealous. I think he just thought that's not what the book was supposed to be. Even if it's a great movie, that's not what I meant. But then you see the version that he did, and it's just like, oh fuck. He's always got. He's always got a um, heart, and like he's just. Uh, he's just so generic, isn't he? Now, what have I actually read by Stephen King? I've read a. Uh, uh, what was it? Eyes of the Dragon and uh, Cycle of the Werewolf. And uh, yeah, he's a page, you know, you, he, it's a page turner. He's very good at making you turn the page. But is that all the, the goal was to, uh, you, you don't get into being a writer so you can just sell copies. You get into being a writer. You, isn't this supposed to be about art? Shouldn't you be trying to be an artist? This guy's a hack. It's, He's like one step above Danielle Steele. You know, and he even said in an interview that he knows that he's the literary equivalent of a Big Mac and fries. And I read uh, one of his uh, books, part of one of his books about writing, how to write. And he goes, uh, well, you know, if you if you keep writing and it's not working, maybe you're just not meant to be a writer. I'm like, that's the worst advice I've ever heard. So like, oh, so if I'm having a problem with my story, maybe I should just decide that I'm not a good writer. Oh, you're not a good writer, Stephen King. You fucking suck. <laughs> I listened to one or two audio books of those uh, books that are the, uh, I forget what it's called. Oh, The Dark Tower. And I was like, this is shit. This is total shit. And this is supposed to be his uh, crowning achievement. And it's, uh, this is bullshit. This is like so... <sighs> you know, there's this guy... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Mc... The guy who wrote that book, Story. Um, what's his name? Robert Mc... McKee? Robert McKee. And he goes, uh, fucking Martin Scorsese and Steven Spielberg are great filmmakers, but they have no message. And I'm like, you couldn't have... You took the words right out of my mouth. They are meaningless people. 
their movies suck in terms of meaning. There's nothing. It's the cheapest form of art. And that's what this guy is. It's just like bullshit. He just writes bullshit. And every 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 fucking um character in his book, main character is always a writer. He doesn't even bother to change it. Like make him a plumber. No, because he's got to get onto the new fucking thing. He is the most uh what's the word? He's the most prolific author who ever lived. But what does that mean? Maybe you get into the Guinness Book of World Records, but your books generally suck. And you had one good one, like the Shawshank Redemption, out of all of it? That's not a score. That's a That sucks. You wrote a hundred books, and only one of them was good? Stephen King, are you capable of writing anything with meaning? Do you ever want to write something important? Like, come on. I mean... Great Gatsby, I've never read it, but it's probably pretty good. Um, Dostoevsky, I mean, he changed the whole world. He influenced Albert Einstein. Nobody's going to read Stephen King and be like, wow, that was really fucking smart. It, it's all shit. It's drivel. It's crap. It's Daniel Steele. Fuck him. You know, if I was offered the opportunity to either be Stephen King or have my head cut off, I'd probably choose decapitation. What a shitty life. Oh my god. Writing shitty books your whole life? Wow. Wow. Devoid of anything valuable. Being a, a hack, essentially. It, I'm stupefied by the fact that he would actually do this. Well, I guess he's got that rare uh, conundrumical... Uh, Thing where he just thinks everything he writes is great but it's not you should want to perfect your craft but he just just writes a book and then another book and then another book and he never tries to improve I, I don't really understand it like I'm, I'm confounded I was about to say that the world would be better if Stephen King had never written a book but the, 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 it's even worse the world would be no different he has not made any kind of an impact at all. It's just he's written soap operas. Bullshit. F cheesy horror movies, and that's it. It's like, God, that's what you wanted to do with your life? You know, we only get one chance to live, right? And then we're dead and we're, we're gone forever. And this is what you chose to do. You chose to write shitty sh shit. You wrote shit. It's forgettable shit. And it will be forgotten. And that's what you did. That's what you did with the one life that you were allowed to have. Well, not me. That's. <laughs> I'd rather write nothing. And I don't give a fuck if he's got a billion dollars. That doesn't really matter. It's like, you were supposed to be a writer, buddy. If you support gays, click like. If you respect blacks, comment. If you think women are people too, click the notification bell. And if you care about sick children, subscribe.